This is my story, is an occasional series of short devotions based around the Bible, the experiences of Open Table members, reflection and prayer. A reading. For you formed my inmost being, you knit me together in my mother's womb. I praise you, for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Marvellous are your works, and I know this very well. Psalm 139, verses 13 and 14. For we are God's handiwork, created in Christ Jesus to do good works, which God prepared in advance for us to do. Ephesians chapter 2, verse Do you feel that you've been crafted or are merely a mistake? Perfectly put together or a flawed afterthought? I spent my youth in a church culture that emphasised flaws. It was how I learned to see the world. Everything was broken. Humanity had willfully gone against God's intended order and we were now paying the price for our fallen ways. Combined with the grim notions held about LGBTQIA plus people in the society around me, I struggled to hold any positivity about myself or hope for anyone else. I would read positive passages in the Bible, like the one we've just heard, and think, but that doesn't apply to me. Or... God didn't get it right with this one. It came as a beautiful shock to hear a different narrative. That God didn't make a mistake when making me. That God doesn't merely tolerate my existence, but actively celebrates it. That there was value in and a positive reason for my queerness. I don't always think about myself in this way, but it is getting easier with practice. The poetic idea of God knitting together in Psalm 139 is compelling. When I was a child, I would notice how my mum sat for hours, carefully crafting the most wonderful woolen items, sometimes from a pattern and sometimes from memory or impulse sometimes with new wool, or sometimes with wool unpicked and reworked. It was marvellous. A life of following God means that we need to allow for some unpicking and reworking. At times, it can feel painful and overwhelming. Looking back, I can see God's knitting needles at key points in my life, often in the actions of people who took time to care and encourage me. Reflect for a moment on your journey to discover the person God is knitting you into. In the difficult times, Can you reach out to people who will hold you and uplift you? Through them, you will see how God delights in you. A prayer. Knitting God. Marvellous are your works. I am one of them. Thank you for making me wonderfully. As the story of my life continues to be knitted together, help me to see your handiwork in everyone I meet and try to love them like you love me. Amen. Ruth Stewart, he, him, is a trustee of the Open Table Network. Rue has been a primary school teacher and a church music director. He now works for the United Reformed Church and the Joint Public Issues team, helping churches to speak out on issues of injustice, 
and participate in creating a just society for all. The recording was read by the author.